This is Sam Slam. Memories on the Morecambe Dome. And the Morgan Dome is being pulled down, which well, I don't really understand why, but it seems, seems a bit silly, really, as it is and always has been one of the premier venues for British wrestling. I mean, I debuted here about two and a half years ago now, and the time, well, time's flown since then. So much has happened, wrestling wise and, uh, and personally for me, and uh, yeah, some of my some of my fondest and uh, most interesting memories have come from coming up here to Morecambe and uh, the journeys, the long, 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 long journeys. I remember my debut here, uh, 2007 I believe, about June, July time, and uh, didn't really know what to expect. I, I was a bit of a rookie at the time, I uh, must have been and uh, got chucked in there with a couple of guys in a handicap match I'd never really, I'd never met before and uh, just did my thing. I think I think I wound up, uh, I think one of them wound up getting a bit hurt, but uh, you know, that's what I do. And then I fought again in the main event against Ricky Knight, beat Ricky Knight, which was a very nice moment for me and I got a stand ovation from the crowd and from that moment on I realised that every time I come to the Dome and that the reception the fans gave me, I just wished that I could come to a venue like this more often. Um, it's, a, it's a very nice, very nice memories for me. And as I say, the road trip, sharing the road with uh, Johnny Storm, and Marty Scarl and Dan Reed. We've had some memorable times, uh, most notably last year, Easter, when we, uh, we left the venue at 10 p.m. and uh, involved a little bit of partying with Alex Shane and his cronies and got home at 10pm the following night after breaking down and having to be towed and having to climb on a train with uh, everything including a title belt and a kitchen sink. Uh, getting home at 5 o'clock in the morning many times, getting home at 6 o'clock in the morning many times, swearing I'd never come here again, swearing I'd never wrestle again, and then realising that I miss wrestling here and wanted to come back and do it again and again. Beating Stevie Knight for the championship was a very proud moment for me. Winning the XWA title actually meant a lot to me. It's one of the few titles that actually means something. You go up and down the country and you wrestle the same people in and out all the time. And for me, there's a few promotions in the country that mean something. XWA, WAW, IPW. There's very few companies that actually mean something. And winning the belt meant a lot to me. I, I wasn't overly pleased with my performance that night. But a victory is a victory and the crowd were very receptive of that. And yeah, it was a very proud moment for me and it's very sad that the Dome's getting pulled down and thank you very much to Greg Lambert for all the, the memories and the times of booking me up here and, uh, and to all the guys I've shared the roster with and shared the road with. It's, it's been very nice, very memorable. And I can only hope that uh, when we relocate to a new venue we can just continue those memories and build a new legacy at wherever it is we go. So thank you very much.